Hi, I'm Ken Craig and I've been involved in sports and movement for the past 21 years. I have helped many athletes all over the world in multiple sports disciplines, achieve their dreams, goal, ambition and recover from injuries. Now, I have been always interested in um, how clinical acumen and expertise can be enhanced using appropriate technology. And I have always been interested in the use of sonographic imaging uh, because it gives me the option and ability to look at real-time um, images of the soft tissue structures that I normally deal with. I highly recommend the use of a portable handheld device and the device of choice for me is the L15 uh, Clarius MSK scanner. And here now we have a European Masters athlete who has recorded very impressive uh, marathon times uh, in his career. And uh, here we are going to see probably some differences in the knee joint. Again, I'm going to focus on the scan of the um, anterior knee compartment. Uh, but given his long history, intensity and duration of his activity and sport, we may see a difference from the younger athletes. And this again is good to compare what is a, what we call, I'm not going to call it overuse syndrome, but a person or an individual who has had a long career in sports. All right, again, using the Clarius L15 MSK scanner. Uh, again, of course, point of care because he's preparing to qualify to compete again next June. I'm going to start from the rectus femoris, cranial to caudate. As we come now towards the superior pole, we find slight differences in both the tendon pattern as well as its course into the pole of the patella. And as a clinician, um, for me professionally, it is really good. It's like educating myself, um, appreciating the various changes across the sporting lifespan. Uh, it's not always about the um, young athletes. Uh, any athletes would like to have as long uh, an athletic career as possible. And they always are as intense as they first start, started. And as a clinician, it would be great for me to educate myself, to note what is not necessarily pathological um, conditions, but probably adaptive changes that has occurred in um, our athlete here who has been competing for more than 25 years. Um, and these, although may present as pathology, uh, would actually mean um, adaptive changes over time because he is still running over 100 kilometers in preparation, although he does feel some discomfort, but there is no interference at all to the physiology, although I can see very clearly changes of what is considered normal tissue or normal superior anterior knee joint at the quadriceps insertion of the superior patella pole. Again, I'm going to now float the probe over the superficial or superior patella bursa. Again, the superficial image is not tissue, rather gel. We see the hyper echo. There is no sign of bursitis. We then contact again and we come into the patella tendon where we can see a technically healthy tendon. Um, we can see the bursa, the hoffa spared. And as we keep going distally, we will end up or come towards the incision or sorry, the insertion of the patella tendon at the tibial tuberosity. Again, slight changes, but again, I would consider this as adapt adaptive changes rather than 
pathological changes. I think um, it's important to know that yes, recovery of a joint and structures uh, may differ from what are considered normative um, in, in, in many people across the lifespan and in sports uh, to allow for the required function. All right, so just because something may not be conformed to the norm does not necessarily mean that it's a pathology, rather an adaptive um, occurrence, okay? So again, it's nice to see an uh, athlete who has competed and who is still wanting to compete uh, as competitive as ever. And my job as a clinician is to give him the direction on safe training techniques and to help provide optimal performance. This is where, again, a point of care, uh, using a scanner like the um, Clarius L15, uh, is very important and valuable to me. Okay, as a clinician, it just gives me a greater confidence and also it's a continuous education. Uh, I would like to encourage anyone out there not to be afraid of ultrasound. In fact, when you've gone through physiological school, whether it's medicine, physiotherapy, I think having a very affordable clinical tools such as the L15 uh, will actually give you two things, uh, give you greater satisfaction, also satisfaction for your clients uh, as a care provider in sports. At the same time, it actually give you a greater confidence, all right, and help you enjoy your clinical practice.